Hello, folks. Welcome back to another video with me, Simulation for the Nation, looking into some of the new features on Farming Simulator 22. And in today's video, we're going to look into just how well a new feature works, what it does, how it works, and the improvement you will see. And uh, that feature in question is arriving on the back of our truck here. This is, when he comes into it, we are going to be looking into silage today. As you can see, we're all set up, ready to go. But particularly, we want to look into what's in the back of this truck. And what was in the back of that truck was this. It is the silage additive by Bond Silage. Now, we're going to look into this today because I want to know and see exactly what benefit it has. How much silage it makes, how much of an increase to the yield it has there, and what that looks like in the pit. So what we've done and what we're going to do, we're going to con uh, complete a little bit of a control test here, really. Uh, we're on Elm Creek, as you can see. We're down by field 71. I've put two silage pits over there. I'm going to put a couple of trail loads of uh, silage into that pit. One of which will have the bond silage additive included and one will not. And what we're going to do is see what the effects are once we put it into the pit there. Once we've let it compact and ferment. And see what that looks like when we come to finish there. So this should be pretty fun to see. Let's get this all ready to go. We'll, uh, we're going to fire ourselves up in the Fennec Katana here. And we're going to have a look into the benefits. But first of all, look at that. Doesn't that just look incredible? What would be really cool is if the new hide worker uh, was able to follow alongside a, a forager like you can uh, arrange it in course play and for it to be able to finish everything up however we're not there yet maybe perhaps one day we will be uh, let's lower down that that's gonna help and we are away so a couple of things to pay attention to here first of all listen to that sound sounds beautiful uh but also you'll have a fill uh, a fill type in your forage there it is for 19 or 20 liters of bond silage now uh, we're gonna go in just until we fill two full tray loads as i mentioned there so even if we uh, still have a little bit left we'll empty it out we'll start again and we'll come back in and we will uh complete another two tray loads and see what the difference is we've got a big m knocking around here as well so if we need to we can just knock down a little bit more grass there but i should feel like this is going to be plenty full here uh, so we'll have to wait and see now i'm curious to know that i I assume, and this is me uh, kind of trialing on the fly here, I assume that this additive will add yield when it's in the clamp and when it's fermenting. Or we'll have to wait and see if it actually adds yield to the uh, to the actual process here. So will it uh, take less time to fill up that trailer? I think this is what we're going to have to look into and, and find out. Uh, but we can certainly be able to tell that once we empty out to see how long it takes to fill a trailer up as well. So what we will do... For the second trailer load here, we're going to time it as well to see exactly how long it takes to go from 0 to 100%. And that will give us an idea because in theory, the yields here are the same. You know, we're on a 50% yield of grass. If you want to make this a, a fully 100% yield and field of grass, then do make sure you check out the video I did earlier around how to get the best yields for your fields. Uh, and you can do so uh, by following a few different steps there and especially includes grass there as well. So make sure you do that. Uh, but what we'll do, like I say, is get this all completed. We'll fill it up. We'll drop it onto the uh, tractor. Tip it into one of the two pits there. And we'll start again. Uh, so that'll be the easiest way to go. I have a feeling based on how we're going here, though, we might be uh, harvesting or mowing down a little bit more grass there at some point. But we will see. We'll see how we get on anyway. This is all just to try and figure out how this looks. So what we're going to do, we'll finish this load off. Uh, we'll get this all filled. We'll get the tips in the clamp. And then we'll come back and we'll start again with the next one. Right, yo, folks, that is load number one done. So what we're going to do is just drop this behind the forager. I've got a little stopwatch on my phone ready to go. We're going to just time through this second load, see if it makes any difference to the, the speed, because what we'll do after that is do it without any additive and see if that makes a difference there as well, because I'm curious to see how they add the extra yield into here. My mind would suggest that you would do it by, a, uh, uh, by an increase in the pit over fermentation, but... Well, we're going to find out. 55,000 liters in one trailer load. So in theory, we're going to be tipping 110,000 liters of both uh, both tests into there. I guess we'll have to find out really, won't we? And as we get to the beginning there, we're going to start this up again. And off we go. So the idea being that we're only going to be timing whilst we're lifting up spots of grass here to see if that's how it's going to speed things up. Otherwise, we'll just crack on and uh, we've got this second headland to finish, which will pretty much see this trailer through just about. 
but we'll see how it goes. As you can see, it's using very minimal levels of uh, this uh, additive in question. So that should be pretty easy to uh, to monitor. And it doesn't look like the consumption is going to be too crazy. Much like it wouldn't be in real life there either. Now we also have to make sure that this crop is fully compacted. So we've brought over the... I want to call it like the uh, snowmobile. It's not, but you know what I mean. It's the Pinot and it is the slope ranger thing. And we're going to use that on the pits to compact everything down nice and neatly once we're all done. Uh, we're at 60% full on this load here, but we are going to have to do a little bit of a turn at the top here. So when we get to the end of this swath, we're just going to uh, temporarily stop our timer. It's taken just over two minutes thus far. Uh, but let's get ourselves around the corner. Doesn't like turning very sharply with this uh, trailer on the back, but there you go. Fantastic. And we will just go straight on into this and straight down there as well. 68% full. I really think we're going to have to bring out the old uh, Big M again just to get a bit more done here. However, we're going to crack along here. We'll see what we get done. We'll tip the second load in. We'll get the compaction started. That will be everything with the additive included. Next up will be just a straightforward grass with no additive. Let's see what the difference is. Okie dokie then. So we have pit number one with the additive clamped and ready to silo it took three minutes and 24 seconds to fill that trailer we've got slightly under 110,000 liters inside here i believe we're 109,000 we'll find out in a second 109,650 liters so we'll blanket that up i'm gonna leave it one thing i will say very easy to compact uh with that thing a uh, bit of a riot in there it has to be said okay so now We've got two more liters, uh, two more trailer loads to go out. The first trailer is going to be empty. We're just going to see how that goes. And then you'll see Big M is over there mowing down a little bit more ground just so we have plenty to run it. And then the second trailer there, we will be counting up the time that it takes to load up there. Uh, so let's just uh, get after this one then. We've got everything set and away we go. We're going to finish off all these smaller little triangles here, I think, now just to get this all done. But we'll finish this up. We'll get it into the pit there. We'll get it loaded. Uh, and then, well, frankly, then you'll, we will be skipping through time until this is ready to be used. Uh, as you can see, uh, fill type before the additive is completely empty there. So this is all just grass, nothing else going into there. So we'll see how we get on and we'll report back. Well then, folks, there you have it. Both of those silage pits have now got 110,000 liters in. And what will actually be interesting to see, the pit with the additive in actually has a little bit less there. So really... Uh, it's in the favor of the pit without the additive in at the moment there. So this will be interesting to see what happens. We've sped up time a little bit. Obviously, we are fermenting there as well, so that should be fine. What we're going to do is actually just sleep through to tomorrow and have a look-see. But from a, another interesting standpoint there as well, it actually took just over 3 minutes and 19 seconds to fill this uh, trailer without the additive. So it's about the same. You've got to take into account a little bit of uh, variation for size of swaths and everything like that but ultimately very very similar time in there indeed so and what you'd want to see or what ideally i think you would want to see there is that it would take less time for this silage pit over here with the additive to fill if that's how it was going to to work so what i'm expecting to see now as we wait for time to pass here and for the fermentation to finish is to see a little bit more silage in that pit there than we actually see over here so we're going to sleep through the day we'll come back and we'll see what we have tomorrow and there you go folks we've actually skipped through two whole months here now let's see if this silage is ready to go it certainly looks like it is we have a hundred percent fermented silo which is great and as you can see on this side it's actually gone down a little bit there this was a hundred ten thousand liters flat we have got a hundred nine thousand nine hundred sixty eight so you've lost 32 liters in the process here but there you have it needless to say there is your silage so this is where we'll see if uh, the additive is working in this instance and see how the, exactly it is working. We're going to come past the little tool of death. That, that's really good fun to use, actually. Very, very good fun. We're going to open up and you can see here as well. Interestingly, we have lost quite a bit more. It's gone down to in a total of 107,253 liters. Now. That is quite interesting. That has dropped down more than I thought it would. That has dropped down a considerable amount as it goes there, actually. 
So how is this working? Well, let's see if we can find out. So what does bond silage actually do? And what does additive do as a whole there? We've seen that we've been able to harvest these and obviously during the fermentation process there you are going to see a, a drop in the, the quantity of silage. Uh, so to see the drop of quite this much though uh, when we're looking at about 2,000 liters is quite strong for one field there with which curiously had the additive on. And the other field uh, or the other trail, the tank full here, the, the pit full here which... Uh, did not have the additive has lost significantly less as it can be seen however it has been claimed that bond silage will add five percent efficiency to your silage to your harvest so what that would look like if you were to lift once again one uh, full trailer and what that would look like would be if you had uh, for every uh, 10,000 liters of silage that you lifted through this 500 percent would be added on top if you were using the additive there so in theory you are going to get more silage for all of the ground that you complete the easiest way to show this would be if you were lifting the field of maize where you can put hide worker on and it can run straight through however it does appear to have an additional with that being said though there does seem to be an increase in the loss during the silage process so do let me know if that is something that you are seeing when you're fermenting your pit there and if you're noticing the significantly higher loss of silage uh, versus if you don't use the additive there additive itself is not the most expensive thing in the world given how long it lasts now that's also uh, an important uh, variation to consider there you're looking at just under three thousand pounds euros or dollars depending upon which currency you're using for the uh, the product itself now as we know that tank holds in excess of about 20 liters we barely even scratched the surface of that with those two trailer loads that we used and we still got plenty left over there as well so it will last an awful long time question is though really i just don't see at the moment i need to see more i need to perhaps do a larger field there with silage additive and one without there and see if there's a further improvement on yields do let me know down below if you have experienced that five percent increase and if you've even measured that against what it looks like when you come to finish uh, and open up the silage pit there because that is quite a significant drop down very much worthwhile though i love the fact that you've added it in much like in real life that you are having to add uh, an additive in to increase the quality of the silage in real life obviously it does improve the uh, the fermentation pro uh, process it doesn't really necessarily add to the yield just improves that quality so that's where the difference is but i like the fact that it's been added in i will definitely be continuing to use it just for that factor alone but it's always worthwhile to discover exactly how it works and what that looks like let me know down below if you've had any good experience with bond silage with the additive either with the foragers or forage wagons i'd be curious to know until next time though I've been Simulation for the Nation. I hope you have enjoyed. Please do leave your uh, comments down below there. Any uh, any feedback you may have is always welcome. If you have any questions about what you'd like to look through and review next time, do let me know. And of course, give it a thumbs up if you have enjoyed. Until next time, though, do stay safe. Enjoy doing as always. And we'll see you later.